Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys, we're going to do a really fun video here. Now, I know a lot of other YouTubers have done this over the last month or so, plus, uh, going back and looking at their original first video that they ever, uplo they ever uploaded to their channel. Now, I've been doing Yu-Gi-Oh! tubing stuff uh, for five years now. Five years plus. So I'm going on into my sixth year right now. That's a freaking long time, but yeah, people always ask me why I'm not a big channel. Probably my editing, but I've been around for a very long time. But let's go look at my oldest video. Now, I did watch it a little bit um, earlier, just like the first eight, ten minutes, I think, it, ten seconds it was, excuse me, uh, just to see if it was still working. It's still there. Um these other videos you see here, the skill drain deck, this was kind of like a deck based around skill drain using vanilla monsters, dark world deck profile, dark worlds, <laughs> and XYZ synchro deck uh, profile. Now, this Gravekeeper deck, I think, is from March 2013. So this is prior to Dragon Rulers. That's how long I've been around, prior to Dragon Rulers being a deck. Uh, Dragon Rulers were announced, we knew they were good, we didn't know how good, though, at this point in time. Uh, different time in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. And then you get my deck. I was watching this earlier because it was so long ago, but this is just my uh, non-heratic uh, chorus deck back in the day. That was using Solidarity and everything else. That's, that's before the heratic engine. Like I really found that it was the better engine. Uh, but you have to remember, this is, a, this is back when I was kind of getting back into the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! at this point in time a little bit. I had taken a little quick break and uh, like a couple, like um, probably a format or two off just for a little bit, just for a little bit. Uh, but I was still playing with my friends and whatnot. So let's look at this horrible deck profile. I thought it'd be fun to do my favorite deck. So that's why I did my Gravekeeper deck as my first deck profile. I remember that. So let's look at this thing. Oh boy. I remember the first thing here. I forgot about this. So when was this? March 16th, 2013. It's prior to Dragon Wolves. Oh, I wrote a comment? What did I put? I know this deck is a weir is weird for Gravekeepers and that I don't run Malefic Monsters. But it works for me in this pr uh, meta pretty good. Though the meta wouldn't really make change. I wouldn't really change till later this month. Uh, but yes, Visionary is a card that people do need to try out more. Uh, thanks, I have tried it. Some of the comments have been deleted. Uh, yes, I have. Uh, my college tournament. Oh yeah, because I got second place with this deck. I think it was a third or fourth place at my local college um, tournament with Gravekeepers back then. Um, like I said, this is prior to Dragon Wars. I remember the matchup I lost to was Madolce. This is before they had Angeli. So this is when they were just going for Teramisu. And in Madolce's back then, they had a good, a bad matchup against uh, Gravekeepers, but still, uh, my deck was just a little bit too slow at the time. Uh, I don't think I was, I think Allure was at one of still. Oh gosh. But the camera quality, I remember this room. I've actually still recorded in this room. Um, it's a small L shaped room. So the, some of the recent videos I've uploaded have actually from this other side of the room on the floor. I've just had a mat and a floor, and I'm just recording on that. But there used to be, I used to have my computer over here, and I used to record over there. This was at my kind of mother figure's house, my adopted mother, I call her. She's adopted me as her son, kind of. And I used to live there for a bit. I used to visit her house all the time when I, back when I was in college. Oh, my gosh. And the quality is so bad because I was a camcorder. Okay, I hope this thing's working. Well, hello everybody. My name is Kevin. Uh, hope yeah, now you know my real name. It's Kevin, actually, not Seto. Just FYI. If you enjoy this, <laughs> this is my Gravekeeper deck. Now, I've been running this deck for about... Actually, a little bit before the uh, starter deck came yeah, out. Yeah, I remember back that. Back in 10. And the reason I did is because I always like siding Necrovel against some players. And uh, it's a good deck. It's still reliable. Uh, I play it a lot differently than most What is with my beard? Um, I run Visionary. What is with my beard? I'm trying to, like, what was I going through at that time? May 2013. 
Oh, I was dating the crazy girl. <laughs> That's probably... What, no, what was that? Was that 2013? No, that was 2013. I was dating that crazy, crazy Bulgarian girl. Long story. Different time. You gotta get me drunk to tell that story. Very attractive woman. Had like a bunch of screws loose. Ran me over with her car twice. And he's the main boss in the deck. And honestly, I think if you're a Gravekeeper player, you need to rethink putting Vision in your deck. Uh, this is my first Even video. Even now, that's still so a good you have to card. forgive me. Uh, if I'm not used to this, or I, uh, the, camel's be the camera's bad. <laughs> if, the camera <laughs> if the camera angle's bad. Camel? I have to work it on a webcam a camel. right now. Uh, I don't have a video cam. It's internet's hard to do. You know, use internet. This is the only time I get to do it. So I'll upload as many videos as I can. Subscribe to my channel, like the video, you know, enjoy. If you don't like what I'm talking about, Rick. I still do this with my hands. I swear I still do this with my hands. But a camel. Oh my gosh. That's because I was using my old, uh, where the hell is it even? I probably got it sit somewhere. But my old, like, you know how, like, nowadays laptops and everything, like, have built-in, like, recordings like I'm doing right now? Well, back then, I just had my, like, standard computer. I didn't have my laptop even. And I had a little camcorder because I used to video chat with a, one of my previous girlfriends who was away for college. And I used to use that and eat. Oh, shit. That's, that's how I did the deck profile. I didn't even. Oh, gosh. Keepers, just take it. I forgot. I did if that. If you don't like it, that's fine. You can have your own prerogative. Watch um, how the deck profile plays out. Just let's get started then. So, you know, so, like. The monsters we run, we always, and in any Gravekeeper deck, we want to run Gosh. three spy. You can put, you know, all those shenanigans you can do with her. You can get. So back then, I wasn't used to the fact, like later on, I used this, this same camera to I saved enough money for my AdSense to get my first camera. Now I have my Vixion, uh, Canon Vixion. But be way, way back in the beginning, what happened was, I didn't have a, pl a good play mat. Like I had, I was using like one of those battle pack play mats. Um, you know, guy going through college couldn't afford good play mats. Later on, I got better play mats, but I was just using like a just uh, not a paper play mat, but like just a you know one of the, a good cheap rubber mats because back then there wasn't really a lot of rubber mats at this time of the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. They weren't as dominant. Like you've got a couple of regional mats, and that's all. And I had a couple of them, but they were, st I had lost them. They were stored away in my freaking like house somewhere. And I lost some of the ones like my uh, Montage Dragon, Sacred Beast one. Um, there's probably one or two others I forget. But I didn't have them at this time. I had lost them uh, until my dad died a year later and then I found them all. But I didn't put the camera down like a normal video i showed the freaking cards like this oh gosh that was horrible who does that in two that oh. <laughs> i was trying to be unique i guess recruiter descendant i've even used her to get assassins sometimes um That's true one thing also you could do too and i have been doing this is if you wanted to get a shock master out you can spy spy Special summon some uh, any level four really, and Shockmaster. Uh, second oh yeah, Shockmaster was good first, like windups, but eh. Shockmaster was legal. I forgot papers. about that. Three com commandants. Uh, okay, so far so good. I run Not this stupid. card. I used to run it at two. Uh, I used to run it originally at three when we had Royal Tribute at three. And oh yeah. Discard your entire hand. Good day, sir. Let's run. Royal Tribute back to three, pieces. Konami. Come on, uh, with that new support. I stopped for a while because my deck got kind of thick after that. I, I didn't know where I was going to go with Gravekeeper, so we put Commandant on two. And about uh. That's back before oh, uh, Heavy Storm was banned. This year, about was January. I said, oh, let's try. It. Let's put it back in. We'll take another Chief out. We'll put Commandant in at three. Oh yeah, I was running and Chief I have for to a hot say, minute. My gosh, I mean, I don't rely on them. So there was a time I was actually running Gravekeeper's Chief. Uh, it wasn't too bad. You have to remember, this is prior, you know, prior to Dragon Rulers. Like, 
the game we had just been getting out of Dino Rabbit format and in sector like the game was fast but a lot slower. Um and gravekeepers could grind still, like they still were powerful, a good grindy deck. And Necro Valley, those a lot of those other decks that were around at that time, Necro Valley wasn't hitting them as much. And uh, you have to remember this is prior to Necro Valley's original, you know, new erratas. So different times. Shockmaster, dear gosh, Konami never bring that back. But Royal Tribute bring back to three, like the OCG. Much on Necro Valley usually, but it helps a lot. So this deck really doesn't, you don't need Necro Valley to win. I've won without Necro Valley. It sounds stupid, but the deck has got so many. Well, back then it was grind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Three thought. Descendants, in case somebody bottoms this, is it? Okay. Deep. Never. I think right after this deck profile, I'll put Descendant to two of. But there was a quick minute, I remember I was trying Three Descendant because the sensibility was so good. Prisons it. Uh. I've had people solemn warning my spy and descendant uh, combo. Uh, and I'm like, okay, that's 2,000 life points to you. But that was a special summon. Okay, I'll just regular summon something bigger. Um, yeah, because the game was more grindier back then. Really. Now, this people is. People were. Uh, people were. People were afraid of descendant. Before. Two spear. Two spear soldiers. You probably Why was I running seen spear? In a gravekeeper deck. I doubt you have since the beginning. Why was I running gravekeeper spear? Oh, because there's a reason I put it in for that. Because I did this profile. What was it like? Right after I I had that tournament, and Spear was putting in work. There's a reason. There's a reason I was running Spear. What was it? He's a 2,000 beat stick with piercing, with uh, Necro Valley on the Furious 2,000. 15 still. I mean. I mean, I've beaten people with Marshmallow on the field stalling, just run through them. Uh, Long time ago, when Marshmallow was meta. I can explain later. <laughs> Two assailants. So that is, you know, okay. no, no, that right there, that was a good call back then. Six Samurais. A lot of people play Six Samurais where I was living at. And if you guys remember back in the day, assailant's nickname was the Sheehan Killer because you put Sheehan in defense mode and then run over the Sheehan. Um, and plus, it just helped around a lot of big boss monsters. I mean, now in the Link era, it's not as good. Like with Master Wolf 4 and Link's not being able to go into defense position. But for back then in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! With Dolkas and Lagias and wind-up stuff and everything, you could put the monster in defense position and just run over it. A sail it was a good call at 2 of back then. I remember doing that. There's a lot of monsters out there. They may have high attack now and have amazing uh, abilities, but the defense is low if you look at it. So he, yeah. with Necro Valley on the field, amazing. Agreed. This is our compulsory with a defense, so he can still live and we can still sacrifice him. Back we'll then, that was a good later. card. So just special summon, descend, uh, normal summon, descend, excuse me. Because uh, it was a... guard, destroy back field. Um, guard was a 24 so, defense, I mean, sir. He's 24 with defense Necro with Necro yeah. Valley. Mm -hmm. uh, I just love him. Yeah, that's a good the call. The main heart of the deck, I would say, is pretty much the heart. Three Recruiter. You which Finally got the Three Recruiter about two years ago. Went to Otakon with my friends. Uh, thank you. Yes, at Otakon. I finally got I was like, oh my gosh, this Recruiter. I've been looking for one. <laughs> I brought two of them. I only had one. I knew how good it was. Yeah, that was years um, ago. I couldn't find that. I using the deck? I could because Star Strike Blast, if you guys don't remember, Star Strike Blast only had one printing and Recruiter was... Re Print it in that, and this is before the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection, I think, came out. So up to that point in time, getting recruiters, they were like six, seven, eight bucks, and they were hard to get. Um, because people love great people so much. Gale. This was a nice tech back then. Gale was a really good tech back then. Queen Gale has single-handedly won me games. Plus, it gives you the deck tuning power. He's a dark, so with Dark Illusion, which I have in my traps. Oh so yeah, I remember my that. entire deck except Commandant is dark, so he works perfectly. I wish and one was dark. little card that people, I just love, it's my pot of avarice, I call it, it's a monster. Crystal Seer. Yes, Crystal Seer, if you know what I'm talking about. Crystal Seer. The I was running that stupid thing? 
and the girl with the balls. That just sounds weird now, don't it? Um, forgive me for my accent. I'm from the country. <laughs> but uh, Crystal Seer, I've had people just not attack because they think it's a spy or a recruiter. They're just not attacking. And that was a thing, though. And mm -hmm. Just start attacking with something else. People That's true. are really afraid against great people sometimes because they're not because I run it so differently. Uh, let's go with mag. Uh, yeah, we'll save the best for last. Magic cards. Uh, this is preference, really. Some of my magic cards, you'd be like, why? I don't run Royal Tribute no more. I find it's more effective in my deck. It's my build. So, there was a time, Grant, this was a lot different, because Royal Tribute had been limited to one. And in the Gravekeeper community for about a year or so, People were debating if we should run Royal Tribute or run other cards. And I decided to take Royal Tribute out because it just wasn't helping. Like, if you didn't get it going first, it was just dead. Which is still too true to this day. Um, but nowadays, it's a just a win condition. You just win. Back then, at this point in time, it was debatable. Debatable, quote unquote. So forgive me if you don't like how I built it, it works for me. It works with my playing style. I built it the way I wanted to. It works for me. I'm not running regular Great Keepers. One Burden of the Mighty. Yes, Exceeds are huge now, but... What a tech! People still synchro out there. Well, this um, was the early Exceed era, so yeah. People are still going to synchro all day long, and they're still going to have big monsters. Burden out of the Mighty. We had Darkness Metal. Secret there. tech, guys! What you gonna do? 28 beat stick with like some <laughs> dragons back? Oh lordy. Make it a little puny. Well you know, that, that that was true. I will admit that. Exceed were as I mean they were good at the time, but like a lot of exceeds weren't that big and great keepers could run over them. And the synchros, people were still going for a lot of synchro plays that I knew, like Sheehan and whatnot. And Burden Back then, Burden could still put in work. I remember that. But quickly I found out that it wasn't a good card. Helps with Gravekeepers. And with the Grave Heap, uh, with Necro Valley Burden mode, they don't, sometimes they don't know what the, what's worse. So they'll just destroy Necro Valley and they still got Burden to deal with, or they destroy Burden. That was true. I remember people doing that. Still not much, I noticed, really. Book of Moon, staple. I never really Amen. Use it. put spy or guard down. I usually use it on the offensive, defensive mode in this deck. Because mm -hmm. I'll yeah. go defensive usually, and then I'll just run at you. What's this? Wonder One. Football? <laughs> Playing football? Wonder One was good. Wonder One is still game. good. You get to but, attack, so you can use it on mm -hmm. any monster, really. If you need that was a good tech. Attack. That's a good tech. Or for you can use it with Recruiter and get three cards, pretty much. Yep, for one yep, yep. Effects. One, Wonder One was a good tech back then. It was. It was. Draw power. I didn't attack. Good. Good. And then draw two. Awesome. What am I doing with my hands, Dark man? hole. It may, the deck does swarm a little bit. Is that my uh, old super? I like it's it old still. old super dark hole. I can see. <laughs> Swords for stalling. Works fine. What? Oh, gosh. What was I doing? Why was I running swords? Some of these questionable texts. Swords. I mean, I guess back then, I mean, swords were still at one of actually at that time, wasn't it? Swords was, yeah, it was. It was still at one of, I think. I don't know. I'm questioning that. Even now, I wasn't expecting that. I'm kind of... Hmm. I mean, uh, there's a couple of reasons I can see why I was running swords, but heavy was around. I think was MST still limited to one? Too long ago, man. The deck. Uh, if you're about to attack, uh, say somebody you've attacked and they mirror forced you. Swords oh. on standby phase two. Not going to take that much damage. Um, gives you time to re. Build your defenses. Do what you want to. Draw a couple cards. Back go at them. I don't. Yes, I do what that. is this? What is this? What I used is to be. This? I used to play, you know, football. So okay. Okay. Yeah, that's. 
<laughs> Necro Valley. I got a shiny one. That's the original one. Here, let me show you. Oh yeah, That's I still have that in my deck. I, I still. I still. Okay, I have to throw this. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun doing this. That's shiny Necro Valley. I still run that super version. That's my original version that I played back when I originally built Necro Valleys. Built Gravekeepers, excuse me. Back when Pharaonic Guardian got dropped. I still have that Necro Valley, and I still run it in the deck to this day. If you look at all my deck profiles throughout the years, you'll see one super Necro Valley. That's the one I've had forever, and I've kept. The other two I sold off, and I like, just kept that one. Good times. Side deck. People hated me for that. But three Necro Valley, you know the deal, what it does. Mm -hmm. Two MSTs. I get them out. Oh, MST two was MSTs a two. Really shiny, yes. Um, but two MSTs. Yes, Descent does it, but sometimes we need a little bit more because we don't want heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And finally, I have to admit, this card is awesome with the way I play this deck and just good for Gravekeepers overall. Two Steely. Gravekeeper Steel. I call it Steely. Oh yeah, recycle. Recycling's good. It's good for the planet. It's good for us. So why not do it? Uh, track cards quickly. I know I'm wasting your time here, so please forgive me. <laughs> Magical cylinder, awesome. What? Card. Hey, well, I mean, back then it was because I mean, this is like before it was considered the new monster reborn. <laughs> oh gosh, but yeah, I will say that was an interesting card to run back then. Did win me a couple games though. I remember that. Like it won me a lot because Gravekeepers they had a tendency back then, and you have to remember this is be like you may say, oh, these are bad tech cards and everything, but I'm thinking about it. And I'm like remembering the matchups I had back then and who I was playing against and everything. It put in work, and it wasn't like I was playing in tournaments and local tournaments and everything back then. I was, but this was like my fun bill back then. I didn't have the revenue to buy, like, I think the main deck I was playing at this time was Mermails, but I had just this random Gravekeeper deck on the side, and that's what I profiled first for the channel. Because were Mermails out yet? Yeah, Mermails were out, and Firefist were out, and I was playing Mermails at the time. Right? Yeah, I was. But I still have this random Gravekeeper deck. And why the hell am I running this? I probably just threw that in there last minute. But let's see here. I single-handedly won many duels throughout the year. It did. It's awesome it did. in this deck. Well, it was good as a one-of because it was just a random trap that you could surprise your opponent with once, do some damage. And Gravekeepers, back then what they did is they just poked, 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 poked you for game and just outgrinded you. And just made the game a little bit faster. Yes. Torrential Tribune. Against those swarms. Six sands. See, I'm not stupid. I'm running animal. Torrential too. with. Did I have a warning? Especially if you got recruit on the field, don't feel afraid to activate it. Judgment, I think, was banned by now. Scrappy. I, uh, that I was good. That game, that, that card, card. Oh my I god. Scrappy. <laughs> that card put in so much work back do. to me back in the day. Uh, but I love it in this deck. Scrap, scrap, scrap Island Scarecrow for many years put work in for me. Like, it was a good card because it protected your gravekeeper. So if they attacked you once, you were like, okay, protect my descendant. Oh, oh uh, your monster's bigger than my big booty spy. Protect my spy so I get to do off and do combo plays and make two pops. It was a nice tech card. Reference really with traps with me. Yes, it's a 45 card deck, but it searches 45? so well and them pretty good. I always get the stuff I need. Two Rider Spirits. Awesome. Can that's a good, good that's like good, that's good. Which is the, one of the main that's even debatable. Deck. You can still run it today. Uh, it's a dual component, I would say, this deck. We have visionary, also we have visionary, and we can run any anything over. Pretty yeah, usually you can if you, and then you get descendants. The descendant. What am I doing? Here? You know what descendant does. You know, so you have two components in the deck. I'd use, I would say, and some if one doesn't work, <laughs> the other one will. Always, 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 always does. Never has failed me. My hands, uh, man. My hands. Force helps the deck out amazingly. See, I'm not stupid. Double mirror force. This card was in the starter box, and I put it in there, and I put in some other decks. Now. This put in work. Reflected slime. I got the hollow one finally, but free. But uh, works very well in this deck. Big defensive monster. I mean, were traps that bad back then? I mean, at this point in time, people ran compulse, but they didn't run a lot of compulse because compulse didn't really get good. Like people used it a little bit, but we didn't use it a lot until Dragon Ruler format. 
Torrential was at one of. Warning, I think, was legal, but it was at one of or two of. I can't remember. Judgment was banned by this point, I think. Or had just been banned. There really wasn't a lot of good traps besides bottomless at one, uh, which was at three of, I think. But I don't know why I'm not writing bottomless. Hard to get over. Dark Illusion. I don't care. I, don't, I think the rea reason I was playing this deck like this is, is more control variation, but I just didn't have access to some of the cards because they were in my other decks. Because I know I had bottomlesses. I know I had warnings. I know I had judgment, judgments. I know I had TTs and compulses. I must have been using them in other decks. Because nowadays, like I have a whole bunch of stuff because I'm able to like have so many decks and people give me. I'm able to get commons and everything, and things have been reprinted a lot more. But back then, I didn't have as big of a collection, and so I had a spread it out through my different decks if you know what i mean or if you whatever great people this was a good card though equal, dark if, illusion even if you're wanting was. i think prophecies are all dark i'm not sure exactly i don't run it I want, one of my friends does it protected my friend will but um will very shout out man you think about it i'm okay. shouting you out from five years ago i know he's still around he's still playing Yu Gi Oh, and I, he's my good friend a good tech card and it can let me read it for you Negate the activation of a spell, trap, or effect monster's effect that targets a face-up dark monster and destroy that card. Yeah. That can destroy a pretty big monster, too. It tries to pop it. And finally, Magician Circle. And the reason why we run Magician Circle is because of this man. Two visionaries. Now, you may be like, oh my gosh, you're so stupid. You're not running normal gravekeepers. What the fuck? It's the way I like to run it, and it works for me, and it's really never lost um, in my school. Um, so the reason why I was running it this way is because most Gravekeeper decks were running control variations, if I remember back then. And the version I was trying out at the time was like a visionary beatdown. You wanted to get a lot. Of, that's why I was running Spear Soldier. I wanted to get a lot of, I wanted to grind you out. And then I want to get a lot of Gravekeepers in Graveyard. And then I bring the Visionary out that's like 35, 34 attack. Uh, and I can just beat over your monsters. The only big monster you had to worry about back then was Graffa. Like, yeah, Graffa was like the only big thing back then. Because Hyperion couldn't do anything really. Yeah. So it was like a Visionary. It was based more around Visionary uh, than just like a Gravekeeper... Anti-stun variation. That's what it was. Now it's all starting to make sense. I top five. <laughs> and there's a lot of duelist at my school. A lot. And I mean, I uh, went and beat three hero decks. the duels. He is the MVP of my deck. Visionary. Take it, look, baby. So Where was that? Three hero decks. And I beat some good hero decks, too. And so I was... And this guy messed up here a little bit. Three hero decks, and I beat some good hero three decks. Three hero too. decks. And so I was. Josh. And this guy won me the duels. He is the Josh MVP was one of, them. of my deck. Visionary. Gerald was Take the it. other. I'm sorry if the lights. And who is the third? And I'll fix it in the next video, I guess. Because Adam was running Visionary. Gishkis at the time, right? Awesome. Yeah, Adam was running Gishkis. And that's why we run Magical Circle. Visionary is boss because. Excuse me. The light. The reason Visionary is a boss beard, man, that is beard. because if you have a Great Keeper in your hand, that's why we run Spear. That's why we need two Assailants. So you can use, and use, their, use their effect or use it as discarding fodder. Yeah. Fodder. Yes, I did. Because he just gets more powerful. I've run over Obelisk with I did. that card. I have remember I've that. I've Slifer. With I remember that, that I've too. I've a lot of card, powerful cards. That trap-based deck. Big attack. And it works. Just discard and... Visionary. Usually, you, when you want to summon him, though, I would always say this, and I look at the camera, what, what, you always what, want to try to have at least one Gravekeeper of any type, even if it's a commandment, in your hand. That's yep. why Steely's awesome. And one Chief, in case Descendant dies. So, that is my duel. Oh, I was, I was still running Chief? I thought I cut Chief by then. Well, the good thing was, like, Chief was another monster you could easily get out, and what you could do is you could bring back your Visionary. So, this deck is not a your typical Gravekeeper stun deck. This was a Visionary build, I call it. Deck, uh, my favorite deck, really. So mm -hmm. I'm sorry if, I, I, like I said before, this is my first video. I hope you liked it. I'm gonna upload some more. I have a lot of decks. I have ten decks in all that I run. 
Um, I have a lot more nowadays. But I hope you like it. <laughs> um, oh, uh, also the extra deck. I don't really have an extra deck with Grave Keepers, but my stroke. Yes, he said my stroke. Ha 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 ha. And Utopia way. Utopia way. Because there's so many print we don't want no more. So. How was I not using anything for. I hope you like my video. Subscribe, please. I will try to upload as many as I can throughout the weeks and months coming. I'm surprised I didn't have more of an extra deck, but like. Back then, I remember I, I really never. Gravekeepers never really went into the extra deck. Like. What? Cow was Cowboy. Like, Cowboy was like a $20 card at the time. I didn't have that. I remember, I remember it like that was in one of my decks. But like, whenever I played this deck, like. I never really went into extra deck, like ever. Like my stroke was the big one, I remember, and Utopia. Everything else I never went into. Um, mm -hmm. Still is. Like the video, please, and please subscribe, and I hope you like my video. Good day, y'all. Oh my gosh, I forgot I was wearing a hat. All right, so let's talk about this video for a second. <sighs> it got 15 freaking likes! 301 views and 15. I must have been doing something right. <laughs> that that facial hair, man, I need a um, <laughs> makes me want to shave right now. So overall, I I I, I pierced it to get, pieced it together. This wasn't my anti stun variation of Grave Keepers. This was my visionary build I was playing around with at the time, and I remember that because I was trying to base the deck around visionary. Instead of like anti stun variation. The second thing I remember is that I spread a lot of cards throughout multiple decks at the time because I didn't have a lot of cards in my deck pool. Even though I had 10 decks, I was spreading them out through other decks. Like Mermail was one of my main decks I was playing at the time because I had Mermail. I, I was using my friend's Mermail deck and I, we built it together. Still have it today, but yeah. Interesting. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, it was fun going down memory lane, but I'm sorry. I was just like, oh my gosh, these hands. Do I still do that with my hands in videos? I don't know. But like, ugh. oh my gosh. That was just fun. That was a nostalgia trip back to the few, back to the past. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling, guys. Thank you for watching.